blade uh, spins so fast yeah. that the bird can't see them until it's too late. So for some of the big ones, the tips can go over 180 miles per hour. Now that's just the tip, which would appear to be an invisible blur. And hundreds of thousands of birds die from this every year. So that number gets thrown around a lot. It's roughly 140,000 to 500,000. But compare that to cats, which is over 2 billion, windows over 600 million, and cars around 200 million. But still, wind is labeled clean, but nuclear gets hit with way more bad press, despite having almost zero wildlife impact. And a single one gigawatt nuclear plant replaces hundreds of these wind turbines. So researchers experimented by painting just one blade black. The single dark blade. That's actually a clever optical trip to help birds track it. After all, eyes are radiation detectors. Just like in control rooms, we use color-coded gauges so you notice contrast. It stands out as it begins to rapidly spin. And this breaks the blurred illusion, making all three spinning blades visible. Birds notice them early and change course, dropping fatalities by nearly 70%. Yes, I know a wind farm in Norway did this, though it needs more long-term multi-site validation. Compare that to how nuclear safety margins are handled. You celebrate orders of magnitude improvement, not a mere 70% reduction by how many emergency systems you have in place and probabilistic risk assessment models to measure this. But hey, wind isn't perfect and neither is nuclear, though nuclear does avoid a lot more wildlife deaths than wind.